important. In this series of videos, we're going to be exploring LEGO Education's EV3 Mindstorms, a fantastic resource to explore STEAM education through building and programming. Along the way, I'll be giving you some top tips to help get the best out of your resource so that your students can have the best learning experience possible. Let's take a few minutes to explore the features of the EV3 Intelligent Brick. And here is the EV3 Intelligent Brick. So if we just have a quick look at it, you can see that I've turned it on. I've got a green light right here behind my buttons and my screen is showing the menu system. We're just gonna have a little look at the features of the brick and its capabilities. So let's start with what's on the front of it. First up, we've got the screen. This is mainly used for navigating around the menu system and for finding the programs that you've downloaded to the brick from your software. However, the screen can also be used as an output device. So on the screen, we can display text, emoticons, images, even photographs. And there's a huge bank of images inside the EV3 programming software. Next up, we have an array of buttons. These up, down, left, right buttons are mainly used for navigating through that menu system. However, they can also be used as input devices. So we can program our motors and sensors to respond by changes in the condition of these buttons here. This middle button, mainly used as a enter or an execute button for starting programs, and this one here in the corner, very important, this is used to stop any programs running. If we turn the brick on its side, you can see a speaker. And again, in the programming software, there's a huge array of sounds that we can use to make our brick make some noises. I'm just gonna turn the brick all the way around. And on this other side, we see a USB port. This is so we can join together or daisy chain these bricks together. And using the desktop software, we can actually connect up to four EV3 intelligent bricks together so we can program up to 16 motors and 16 sensors from one program. There's also an SD card slot here. This is very useful if we want to do some programming on a desktop or laptop away from the brick. We can then put our programs onto an SD card, pop it in the slot, and then using these buttons in the menu system, navigate our way to those programs. Let's turn the brick upside down here. And we have some sockets here, some ports labeled one, two, three, four. These are where we can attach our input devices or our sensors. And on the top, there are ports labeled A, B, C, and D. And these are where we can attach our output devices or our motors. There's also a PC input there. This is if we want to use the included USB cable when we're using the desktop software to download programs onto the brick. We don't have to use that. We could also use Bluetooth or Wi-Fi in order to get those programs on there as well. So there we go. That's an overview of the EV3 Intelligent Brick.